The sun, the earth and the moon lined up in a row to put on a light show in Sunday's night sky. People around the world looked up to watch the supermoon total lunar eclipse. In tonight's sightseeing in northern Michigan, we look back and look up at the phenomenon that hasn't been seen in 33 years. They are rare. For many of us in northern Michigan, Sunday night clouds took over the sky. Here's what we missed. The moon gets into a perfect alignment between the Earth and the Sun, and the Earth's shadow will be cast upon the moon. If you watch the, the moon itself, it's going to pass through the shadow of the Earth and become an eclipse. And then as it comes around, it'll pass back out of the shadow and once again become illuminated. Luckily, the internet was full of images from those who had a great view of the sky. They shared pictures with us, like Ben Musilak from Paradise, Michigan, who saw most of it through the clouds. We have scientific explanations for the supermoon eclipse. Just imagine what it was like for our forefathers who didn't have the knowledge we do. In ancient times, some of these early astronomers, they were baffled by the different colors of these eclipses. They didn't know what was occurring around the globe that would cause it to change colors. Or like Major Chris Pendleton of the U.S. Army, who sent us these pictures of a blood red moon from a much clearer atmosphere at Fort Leavenworth in Kansas. What's occurring for us is we do have some wildfires going on uh, out in the western part of the United States and a little bit of Canada, which has produced a little bit of smoke into the atmosphere over the past several months. So this eclipse could be uh, a dark orange or even a reddish in color. Uh, hence what some people are calling a blood moon. From Paul Carroll of Godrich, Ontario, who sent us these beautiful photos from the eastern shore of Lake Huron to Keith Baker, who was sailing aboard the freighter Case and Jay Calloway in Western Lake Superior. This eclipse, the last of a series of what astronomers call tetrads, where we have four eclipses that occur in a series six months apart. And because he was patient, at 11.51 on Sunday night, our very own Corey Adkins caught the last half hour of this special celestial event, and it was stunning. The next total lunar eclipse isn't until January 2019. The next Tetrad series of eclipses, where we have these four eclipses six months apart, won't be until 2032. So we have a little bit of a wait before this next long series of eclipses for us uh, here in, in this part of North America. For Sightseeing in Northern Michigan, I'm Kevin Essebaggers.